First Friday took place June 7th on Winchester Avenue, bringing out cars, music, lightsabers, and families. During the event, Mayor Chuck Charles also presented the new flagpole base at Judd Plaza. It's really a truly a joy, and I, I love uh, partnerships, and this is a great partnership between the uh, Bricklayers Local Number 7 and the City of Ashland to be able to get things done in the, in the city, be able to clean up our downtown. And this monument, the base of the flagpole, was a, it's a great tribute to, uh, to, to Ashland itself, and especially what the Bricklayers have come forward and, and done for us. Charles says the rebuilding of the flagpole base took about a week to complete. It's solid and sealed. And, uh, matter of fact, we did a small little time capsule with a, a proclamation in there that when it is replaced in future generations, they will know again that the Bricklayers Local Number 7 uh, came forward and helped their community. Other events going on at First Friday included a car show and live musical performances. Nine-year-old Kendall Black says she had a favorite car. It's bright yellow and it has eyelashes. The Ashland Lightsabers League also caught the eye of many attendees of First Friday. The league was created about five years ago, says Cody Harris. If anybody's familiar with the whole uh, Star Wars trilogy stuff, um, you got the Sith and the Jedi. Play different games such as Capture the Flag, uh, Team Slayer, which is pretty much both teams go at it, and the object is the last team standing. Reporting for The Independent. Adam Black.